They try to get me to be confirmed nuts, but they can never succeed because I don't have the schizophrenia or the bipolar, either one. I just simply had a temperament pro problem at the time. I'm kind of getting over that, and I wouldn't call that really mental because I think a lot of people get that way sometimes. Some more than others, you know. Some actually fall through on their wishes. Me, I just felt like throwing bosses out third-story windows, but I never did. I never messed with pills or the powder, because that scared the heapy creepies out of me. I did do alcohol to a point, but you know, I never let it become an addiction. I used to work. I had several jobs. I worked at DI, St. Mark's Hospital, as a housekeeper. I was in Touch by an Angel a couple of episodes and Promised Land a couple of episodes, and that was practically filmed down here at the school. I believe in angels and fairies to a high degree. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean they don't exist. I figured what could I get to reflect my beliefs in angels and fairies then I started coming across stickers and of course the Barbie stuff. You know, and I figured that's as good as anything. Just something. You know, and like right here I got Disney princesses and I got Barbie fairy Topla. You know, I'm on disability now, so I can't work a full job. But I came up with ways to help the neighbors, and that it just plain gives me a good feeling. Made them feel good and made me feel good about things a little better than I would have if I just sat around and watched TV 24-7. And I started with the garbage cans and started taking them out and bringing them back in. And from there, I built up to yard work part-time. The original manager of Millstream was letting the yards get out of hand before she'd have me do them, you know, and that was not a good situation. Then I was having rocks come up and shit, and I'm totally blind, and I lost that in the yard accident. That's one reason I only do my yard now and don't do it a lot of others. You notice I don't really look 54. I mean, only as old as you feel. I stay in shape, you know, as well as can be. You know, I practice martial arts, yoga, cardio dance, Pilates, light weights. I do a little bit of everything. I do martial arts every day just to stay in shape in case I have to use it. I started when I was a little kid. My mom didn't want me to be a wimp. <laughs> she started me in a boxing program up around the street, a little boxing gym that started a program for kids on the weekends. And I had the reputation of kicking a few butts. <laughs> About 14 years since my mother died, we were expecting it, you know. She prepared for it, and she got me ready. We talked about death a number of times prior to it. You know, and she knew somehow, and I knew somehow when it was actually going on. And, you know, it was like she didn't want me to be scared of letting her pass over. Oh, she was so special. She was so much like me in many ways, you know. She didn't hide the fact that she had a little rebel in her despite her age. Even 68, 69, she loved rock and roll. She loved to have beer once in a while. You know, she realized that nobody could be a total saint, but nobody was going to hell because they were drinking a little alcohol. You know, it's just the serious things you have to worry about. You know, and I noticed that too. More and more that religion no matter what it is, it can be like Catholic or Protestant or Presbyterian or LDS. They all have the same belief that basically religion or spirituality is for sinners. We all sin in one way or another. And that helps us get through it. <laughs> <laughs>